Summer is officially here. It's a time for students to kick back, indulge in a little extra screen time, play outside, embrace the kind of freedom that only comes with being young and having no responsibility. But it can come at a cost. The summer slide is a regression in academic proficiency, and experts warn that it's hindering kids' progress when they head back to school in the fall. So here with us this morning is Dr. Joseph Atman from Middle Tree, which is a Sacramento-based nonprofit that focuses on educational services for our health. Dr. Amon, thanks for joining us. So I want to ask, can you explain what the summer slide is? Sure. Well, you know, our minds, like our bodies, can atrophy if we don't use them frequently. So summer slide is simply when students don't touch something academically with, with some sort of regularity, basically. Right. So, of course, we want our kids to stay up to what they've learned in the whole previous year. What are some tips to making sure that they can hold on to some of that knowledge over the summer? Oh, gosh, you know, getting involved in, you know, the, schools aren't your only options when, when it comes to getting an education. So if you can get involved in anything academically, uh, that will help really a whole lot to, again, just be touching something with regularity. Um, you can, uh, you know, go use your local resources, libraries, nonprofits, communities in general. They put on a lot of great happenings over the summer. Um, so there's a litany of educationally based summer programs that will give students um, sort of a, a fresh approach. Um, and summer is an interesting time to be able to sort of uh, cobble your own educational experience in a way that you can't do so during the school year. So one last thing I want to ask is how do you balance that free time? Because, of course, summer's a time for fun, but we do want to hold on to the knowledge. So how do you balance um, free time and maybe holding on to the academics? Yeah, um, uh, we know as adults that, you know, learning actually is fun, right? Our brains are built to learn. So all, all those students, um, they might groan when you tell them you're doing something academically uh, this summer. Um, they usually enjoy it more than they expect, right? Um, if you ask students whether or not they missed school during distance learning, the vast majority of them did actually miss it. And they did want to go back to school. And again, learning's fun. Um, so if you cannot take the, the summer off um, uh, and just do something, you know, a little bit educationally, uh, just with some regularity um, and, and blend that into your regular summer routine, um, I, I think you'll find that most students uh, really do enjoy it a lot more than they expect. Mm -hmm. Learning is fun, too. Dr. Atman, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Some tips on how to prevent that summer slide. Thank you.